Hello everyone, an incorrect summary of Bloodborne by Maxer. <laughs> let's check it out, let's check it out. I played Dark Souls recently, so I might give Bloodborne a, a shot. Tell me in the comment if what do you think. Should I, as a Dark Souls player, go into Bloodborne? Is it too difficult? I, my head might blow off. The has spoilers. Bloodborne is a Lovecraftian horror RPG. The video has spoilers. Bloodborne. Okay, first me, 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 fuck me, 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 me. Is a love I think he really likes me. That's a love crap. What did you say his name was? What the f <laughs> What is the what what a horror RPG that no one understands by definition, where the player is free to attack hordes of human children at will and consume their innards. If that in-depth and engaging anti baby gameplay appeals to you, keep playing yes? because it gets worse in this game. It looks you so innards. cool. Look if at that... him. What the fuck? He looks like Van Helsen. In-depth and engaging anti baby gameplay appeals to you. Keep listening because it gets worse in this game. You play as John Blood. Fuck is that face? <laughs> what is that shit? What? Oh god. Born a foreigner incapable of speech without the use of sign language. <laughs> and stricken with Habsburg disease, come yeah. to the ancient city of London <laughs> seeking treatment. Yeah, don't inbreed, please, guys. Don't no, say no to incest. For the sins of his cousin. Vincent is different. In doing so, he will begin hallucinating talking dolls, spider people, and the great. Oh my wow, god, what the fuck was that? Further, John Bloodborne becomes conscripted into the service of a gay elder god. <laughs> Why he has to be gay? Why? And a Why? Old man he keeps as a pet and is given the ultimate task of killing an invisible infant in order to cure his anemia. To accomplish said Herculean task, what? the player must journey through dark forests, terrifying nightmares, and the meth-ridden alleyways of a post-Brexit prison, <laughs> slaying monsters, exploring, yeah. and tricking women into being okay. impregnated by gods so you can consume the child. This game is an excellent realization of a Metroidvania with something new around every corner, a great action RPG which pits you against insurmountable odds, oh my God. and has a gripping story and lore about discovering the Eldritch truth. So if you can, play it yourself because I'm not going to hold back on the details. It's no secret that my reviews are entertainment first, so uh -huh. I don't suggest using me as genuine advice. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, 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 sure. How <laughs> Who was that? Oh, shit, Enter that was... That was Niji Sanji, right? Entertainment first, so I don't Let suggest take a look using at me as genuine advice. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's Niji Sanji. Hopefully she's Niji Sanji. If she's not Niji Sanji, don't tell me in the comment section for fuck's sake. Maybe she's uh, just However, most people can't play this game stand alone. ever because you have to buy a four hundred dollar match. Okay, never mind then. Fuck this game. Box sold by the wizard Sony in order to experience it. And even nah. then, you get to see it in an amazing 30 frames per second with no anti-aliasing. Oh, God. Fuck off. This game to PC, I beg of you. In it, it, no, I mean, uh. in fact, I can assume that a lot of people watching this video will basically never play the game, but keep watching because I'm hilarious and original. Do yes, that, I know. And I can give you the full, unfiltered, uncensored, unsubstantiated, and ah. unsportsmanlike experience. Oh my God! What the that fuck is, is that Bloodborne. face? The gameplay is what makes this game great, and the easiest way to describe it is simple but complicated. On a simple level, your baby brain is responsible <laughs> for only two tasks, dodging and hitting. And dodging in this game renders you temporarily invincible. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. Because every single enemy is adjusted to keep pace with you. Basic enemies are basically able to whoop your ass into fucking non-existence. Every encounter, therefore, is tense and engaging. When you kill someone, it's because you were faster and had more meth than they did. On a complicated level, you have a gun, and normally bullets hurt people, but... <laughs> okay. But in London, bullets are a suggestion, like the Geneva Convention. Oh. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> that went dark. That went dark. Here in England, it's all about the knife bins. Except when you shoot somebody mid-attack, you gain the mystical and arcane ability to plunge your fist through their ribcage like Mortal Kombat and rip out their heart, which is considered rude and a slight annoyance. This extends to behind them if... 
slight annoyance. That's fucked up. That's how it is with all these fucking games. Just like extremely hard games. They, if they can't make the boss difficult enough, like one of those dudes in Dark Souls 3's first fucking area, um, they're going to make them a bullet bullet sponge or like a sword sponge of charge attack which sometimes causes you to reach up a pig's ass oh and rip god like fruit by the foot side note the most <laughs> optimal farming route for <laughs> currency in this game is called murgo's pig fisting route see i changed the web page and <laughs> yeah inspect that in this route you sneak up behind this guy and do him the dirty then entice these two swindler bastards to be mauled to death by members of organization 13 repeat 50 times on a complicated -er level every single weapon in the game has two different modes with two different moves <laughs> and transforming between them gives you special attacks in addition to running attacks oh it's so armor. cool why is it not on pc what the fuck sony Shit. On a theoretical physicist level, your character memorizes squiggly lines and fridge art created by gods for passive bonuses that work regardless of weaponry. My favorite. Okay, song. okay, okay. Let me fucking see before I rip it to shreds. Um, Bloodborne. Is it on? They, they, they transferred so many games. To, oh, it's so fucking exclusive. It's not even funny. Fuck. Hmm. Because they, they they imported so many games. So many games are now on PC that weren't before. And it's just so fucked up that it's not fucked. More money, more money, and more money they stack. Finally, on a meta-theoretical chiropractic level, every weapon is customizable with different gem slots that give differing effects for your attacks. And there okay. are different types that can literally change all of the stats of the weapon. Like making a fucking spear do more damage based off of intelligence. Okay. There's definitely more and a lot of strategy in how you level up your character, but I assume that you know how to level up in a fucking video game. But with all this combat prowess, you may be wondering, Maxor, who are these crusty abominations? Oh, okay, you can't do that. You know how to level I need to see that. I need to see every Veeb as well. I'm not a V, but I interest with all this in Veeb as well. You may be wondering, Max Sex with sex, what? Sex, I will have Max with that so fucking up. <laughs> this dude, this dude, man. <laughs> I love him. Or who are these crusty abominations that you're fighting on screen? Well, to oh. learn that much, we're going to have to delve into the lore. So buckle your britches, bitches, because this shit is wild. If I say something questionable, just accept it as fact. I can be trusted. 60 years. Okay, that was Max, right? That if was Max, right? Just accept it as fact. I can be. Holy shit. I mean, he looks like a complete chat. And a chump to some degree, because look, glasses. And the beard. Jesus Christ, who likes a beard? Ew. Kidding. Vino. Vino? That's a good, that, that, that's a good side by side, um, fridge. Yeah, right there. It's chrome too. Holy shit. Look at that coffee maker. Oh my God. This dude's amazing. Oh, those are garbage. What the, I hope those are food. Not garbage. Trusted. 60 years ago, 20 rowdy college students took their education extremely seriously because they found woman Cthulhu. She was just in a portable toilet downstairs. Also, because they were bored, they beat to death a god of the sea with some bats, but that's a story for later. It turns oh, out... It, that, that, that sounds so gross. I don't know even what's happening on the screen. The world is ruled and created by a race of elder gods beyond human comprehension okay. called the Great Ones. Figuring this out, they got Cthulhu's blood and were like, we can make a religion out of this. Because oh. it turns out... <laughs> yes. Yes, love it, love it. Bill, Bill, Flirt, Flirts, 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 Bill, Bill, Flirts, Bill, Verts, Verts. He's still the entire word reference right there. I love it. Can heal people, which is really good due to all the knife crime. So everyone starts drinking it a little too much, and they get the money to build thirty-six cathedrals. That's England, bro. Turns out eventually the blood turns you into a werewolf. So the oh church hires God. a guy named German to go fight the beasts with an organization known as the Hunters. Literally German. There's too many beasts, so he gives up. Now the knife crime is increased even more, and German. Oh, that's the dude, your pet. He sort of goes insane and creates a life-size doll of one of his students, who is an eight-foot-tall Amazonian. He also canonically. What's up with the Mega Man? With the Moon God for some. He also canonically has sex with. Oh, oh, okay. So this dude who were supposed to kill the werewolves, like gets old, makes a doll. What's the doll's purpose for? The blood turns you except sex. I mean, into a werewolf. So the church hires a guy named German to go fight the beasts with an organization known as the Hunters, but. There's too many beasts, so he gives up. Now the knife crime is increased even more, and German sort of goes insane and creates a life-size 
Bart's doll of one of his students who is an eight foot tall Amazonian. He also canonically has sex with it. But again, why? Why would he do that? Just so he can, the, the doll can level you up or something? The moon god, for some reason, kind of takes notice of this and is like, all right, listen, I'm building a suicide squad. That's, I will that's, bring your that's, wife. That's, that's, what the fuck? Waifu to Laifu, if you serve me for all time as my slave. German reasonably thinks that this is a great deal. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck! Shut the fuck up, dude! The, 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 Iranian, Iran, Iran deal was amazing. I'm Iranian. I know. I would know. I give us some shit, please. It's so fucking. We had. We don't have shit. We can't download drivers from Nvidia and AMD. We can't do shit. Take the sanctions out, please. Please, America, please. And is imprisoned in a dream. This is where you come in. See, the moon god assassinates baby gods for fun, but needs a hitman to go into the real world to do it since he's confined to the ninth dimension. So in addition to fighting all manner of giant beasts and uncovering dark secrets, the true aim of this game is to commit infanticide. There's enough bullshit here to fill tax legislation. Uh -huh. So comment your own poorly summarized Bloodborne lore below. And for the rest of us <laughs> non shills we have ample time to explain more of what oh, makes don't do that. Oh, Oh my god. Yes, you have been jinxed. I am talking about bosses before I talk about the levels. In most video games, bosses cap off areas, but in Bloodborne, areas are preambles to a dick I talk about the levels. In mo The voices have returned. Oh, peko peko peko. Oh, oh my god, everyone in my fucking stream of that shitting game was talking about this how tau you need to you need you need her you need her she's the most important thing dude who gives a shit? I want to play the game with the shit ass one star characters that I have. Chill out. The game's bosses cap off areas, but in Bloodborne, areas are preambles to a dick flattening, and nothing will challenge your skill in quite the same way. Except for the goddamn witches of Hemwick, who were placed into the game for disability access. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're disabled. Uh, what's your disability? You can probably tell that Bloodborne. Over editing? OSD is a hard game. We don't even know if the journalists can beat it. But it's hard uh -huh. in a fair way that tests your skills and reaction time, except for Lawrence. Oh we'll my god. Later. What sets this game's bosses apart is that the challenge makes it feel like you're a really small dude jabbing a toothpick into a building sized deer demon. So <laughs> Finana, is that so, Finana? Yeah, I would be impressed if he killed that. But not only that, unlike Dark Souls, every single boss. Yeah, I the challenge makes it feel like you're a really small dude jabbing a toothpick into a building sized deer demon. Oh, it's a peekaboo one! Holy shit! She's, um... She's... She's... She's indie. She's indie. Uh, so yeah, I would be impressed if he killed that. But not only that, unlike Dark Souls, every single boss reacts meaningfully to how you attack them. Large beasts can have their bones cracked and their tendons wound into a slinky. Bone boys can be knocked over and have their marrow shaved. Oh. And human enemies will wince and recoil when they see your height difference. Oh my god, did you look at the face of that thing? What the fuck?! Okay, this game is too cool. I might even buy PS5 for this shit. How, how, uh, is it, is it backboard compatible, this one? Shit. And human enemies will wince and recoil when they see your height difference. As well, every boss punishes you for cowardice and actively discourages backpedaling with their forward momentum, causing every fight to be an elaborate dance oh. with a thrilling back okay, and forth. Okay, Unless okay. you're fighting Rom, who is the really hungry caterpillar if he had a legion of arachnid slaves who threw their heads underground like ostriches. We don't talk about him. And while we're on the subject of bad bosses, this motherfucker... Let me tell you something, the humanoid bosses in this game are paradoxically the most dangerous. Yes, and that's how it is in Dark Souls 2. But Mikkels in this game are paradoxically the key? most dangerous. Of course. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> why is he... Why is she in front of a fan? Oh, because this is, um, Hologura, Hologara. But Mikalash is a psychological hazard that will hurt you personally. This boss literally feels like cut content because the fight centers around chasing him and his direction depends on oh RNG, making him an actual speedrun killer. When you corner oh. him, he uses <laughs> one attack and then you chase him again where he gains the power to insta-kill you. God forbid you're hit by it because that's 10 minutes gone. Are you fucking kidding me? Tip. Save up 10 poison knives and steal from your family if you must. Then wait until he jumps down this hole. Poison him repeatedly and watch him spaz the fuck out until death. <laughs> You for that shit. But as a result of everyone who isn't Miko shit, conquering a boss in this game is absolutely rewarding on a level that other games cannot match. It's only because the odds are stacked against you in ways that don't feel bullshit most of the time that conquering them is the main reason I play, and their fights are undoubtedly the best I've ever done in video games. But that isn't most of the time in the game. In fact, a lot of your time is spent exploring the areas, so let's get into that. Lesson one in 
area design. Where the fuck am I going? Exploration is the name of the game, except it's called Bloodborne. Only this time, you don't bring smallpox and kill 20 million. <laughs> I, 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 I don't get I okay I get it I get it I get it because me 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 in it just not it had otaku like depression and stuff uh, about it but on the line there was this otaku um, Cthulhu Cthulhu things about it as well so it makes sense that he's using it behind the fucking logo of Bloodborne and the, uh, the, the background of it is the fucking Bloodborne cover it, it absolutely makes sense now I'm sorry people, for talking about this solid 10 this time because the main enemies in this game are British townspeople it's how the developers made sure you didn't feel bad about killing them the plague of beasts infecting London causes people's teeth to become beast like makes you aggressive at night and slurs your speech <laughs> Prime Minister of fucking Britain, isn't it? So it's up to you to st and slurs your speech. He really talks like that. Holy shit. And the hair, the hair. And this is real, right? It's real. That hair is... Is it fake? It looks too shiny, though. Like, is that hair fake? Okay, let me check this out. Is Boris, Boris Johnson's hair fake? Hair shows he's too posh to fail. No, no, not that. Is Boris Johnson wearing a wig? Probably, but only a hairdresser would know. Can someone please tell me? No, it's a classic cleaning mop. <laughs> Fucking hell. Why is everyone... Don't be stupid. You wear a wig, you look like that. Um, That's true. Why would you wear a shitty looking wig? Okay, okay, never mind. Uh, let's get back to the fucking video. So it's up to you to stop them as a hunter should. If you don't look up where to go next and Oh, they're up the fucking you know, I hate people this like game, that. Good fucking luck. People get lost all the time. Get used to it. This game doesn't do exploration like, oh, look, there's loot in this hallway. My dopamine's gonna go crazy. That's baby shit. This is daddy's <laughs> exploration. You find a route back to a place you were in 10 hours ago. And I hope you weren't expecting a mini map or any map. Every single Oh time. my god, that's so frustrating. Oh, you don't have a mini map or any map? Rabbit hole of discovery and your hand isn't held. Case in point, Cathedral Ward is a level but feels like a hub area because it connects to a fucking everything <laughs> okay fuck this game what the fuck and where you start the game is in the middle of a loop-de-loop -loop involving torturous experimentation just look at the fucking map of this game everything overlaps and yes there is a level called nightmare lecture hall and no it does not connect to the altar of despair although you would think that fittingly the lecture hall is the smallest area and more fitting lecture hall 90 percent of the combat is graduates throwing cups must miss that lecture hall isn't gonna get to the what cathedral of despair. The lecture hall is the smallest area. Nightmare lecture hall, and no, it does not connect to the altar of despair. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's brilliant. Although you would think that. Fittingly, the lecture hall is the smallest area, and more fittingly, 90% of the combat is graduates throwing cum at you. The game also has two completely secret areas that you would not find without the internet. I would tell oh. you how to enter, but I don't want to do calculus. And what you get at the end? Upper Cathedral Ward is legitimately a horror area in a game loved for its combat, because it's filled with enemies who act out my greatest fears. Steal oh my god! Currency in a game loved for its combat, because it's filled with enemies who that's act out crazy. my greatest fears fears stealing currency permanently gives me are you fucking kidding me tax collectors chills every time i talk about it castle canehurst is proof that from software hates us all since the best area in the entire game requires you to go to the field of corn in ohio and trek down waldo but it's <laughs> Worth it to invade the house of that parasitic queen dwelling in the demented <laughs> castle so that she may feel the wrath of the proletariat. All we have to do is kill Prince Philip, who guards the way as an eternal lich. On top of this, there are numerous NPCs and NPC quest lines spread throughout the world, all with a series of interactions with each other depending on location and Jerk. Uh, I, 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 uh, uh. Uh, Timing. For instance, you could direct nuns, prostitutes, and Prince Philip to a church run by a lonely black sludge, then perform enough blood transfusions yeah. to send the nun into a yandere rage. Or you could direct them to the nice woman who runs the clinic down the street who only wants to help and assist others. Then take a strange path through the forest and into her clinic to discover that she has been experimenting on all of them in order to create the Blue Man group. And if you want, you can take the umbilical cord away from her schizophrenic ass and eat it. The sky's... Uh, oof. Uh, 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 
<laughs> Why? The limit in Bloodborne quest lines. And you know what my favorite quest line is? The one where you descend into literal hell, complete with eternal punishment, insanity, and femboy fishing. Okay, what was that? The one where you descend into literal hell, complete with eternal punishment, insanity. Um, what is that? That's... No, that's not Sora that has white hair. Whose plushie is that? I don't know. Maybe it's not a VTuber. Maybe it is. I don't know. The end. Femboy fishing. The scariest of them all. I'm, of course, talking about the DLC. <laughs> the only DLC for this game. And if you play through Bloodborne, you have to play through the DLC. I'm not giving you a fucking choice. So to learn why, you should okay. play the best expansion ever made since Spore Galactic Adventures. Oh, Briolet C from Bioshock Infinite. Jesus Christ, that is the best DLC in my opinion in everything ever. Jum jungles. Come with me on this amazing journey to find the secrets of the Bloodborne, the old hunters. I want you to imagine hell. Now imagine hell written by HP Lovecraft. It will be filled with squids, immigrants, and air conditioning. Okay. This DLC has none of that except the squids. For you see, those college kids from the lore section of the video were built fucking different. <laughs> they experimented on an entire village and possibly beat up a god of the sea so fucking bad that her consciousness in the ninth dimension died. We spent an entire game killing an infant and these guys somehow killed the milf god. Okay. First of all, how did... <laughs> they but Maureen Maureen is not the wait Maureen Maureen is quite old isn't she so she would be good, considered a MILF yeah but she is not a mother I really doubt that she's a mother because she's too much for a mother if she's a mother no judgment no judgment but I'm like just saying like her voice doesn't g give out that I have a bunch of kids but a MILF shouldn't always a MILF is like a mother I want to fuck right so it, it wouldn't necessarily you don't have to be a mother it's just a per se expression of uh, like your appearance as someone who might be a mother basically i think so that makes sense entire village and possibly beat up a god of the sea so fucking bad that her i can't read that consciousness in the ninth dimension died we spent an entire game killing an infant and these guys somehow killed the milf god but anyways in the process of this it cursed them and all of the hunters to be killed the milf god but anyways in the process of this it cursed them good luck being spawned some fuck and all of the hunters <laughs> to be doomed to a hell upon death where they will hunt in a bloodthirsty rage without rest for all eternity indistinguishable from a political subreddit case in point this is ludwig he's the first boss of the dlc and has a reputation for causing refunds not because he's bad but because he's too good for you the first phase is as difficult for me as realizing Holy that golden shit. corral is not actually a real corral but like every restaurant except golden corral the rewards at the end are delicious because his second phase is even harder now i'm not going to lie Okay. This DLC has four bosses and three of the hardest bosses I have ever fought in any video game ever. So your ass will be clenched the entire time. And the fact that he's the third hardest is fucking concerning. Some people. What the fuck? People tell me, Maxor, your videos have gotten me through tough times because they made me laugh. But like this boss, you are the one who is truly overcoming these challenges. And I believe in your ability to beat both of them. <laughs> King Boss Lightning Round. The DLC has many such cases of amazing bosses, including Lady Maria, who is the basis for German's extremely creepy eight-foot-tall doll fetish, but we'll get back to that, and Orphan of Cause, who was born from the literal dead body of a god. If you enjoy the sensation of being beaten to death with a sharpened placenta, this is the fight for you. And as with everything that From Software makes, they threw in a boss that they didn't really finish and called it a day. I I'm of course talking about Lawrence, which is a very mundane name for a fire monster locked in hell. Take my advice, don't fight Lawrence, you only lose a the first vicar part of yourself. Since this boss fights you by dropping off his own legs and then violently vomiting and shitting lava everywhere. I've always wanted my game about dynamic dodging and elaborate fencing to be reduced to shitty area denial like it's Team Fortress 2. To wrap things up, the music of this game is pretty good, but the DLC music is fucking insane. I don't know what it is about Japanese composers being able to make better symphonies than the continent that invented them, but j Okay. Blizzard has soundtracks like that too.
and they have it in the US. So chill out, chill out, just chill out. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, let's not, let's not go all Eastern Asian. I love, I love, I'm in the taco. I loved all that shit, but like, let's, let's not, let's not, let's give the credit, the credit is due, right? Like, just... Holy shit, I am alive. Yes, now, have you yes. Thought, as I do, I get this it. game is just too good that you would really rather be playing a shittier version of the game, such as the engagement of the Chalice Dungeons. I, of course, jest. They're fine, probably, except for half of them, because Bloodborne has an optional system of infinite dungeon generation for all of those who wish to break free of the shackles of good level design. Let's talk about how, and more importantly, why. The challenge First of all, Bloodborne dungeons. has a system of dungeons that everyone shares and dungeons that are random. For my footage, I played the shared dungeons that you can be guaranteed the pain you witness on screen is mandatory. One of the biggest strengths of Bloodborne is the ability to have interesting and challenging enemy encounters gently rubbed with the bloodstained hands of Miyazaki. But I don't think I have to explain to you how randomizing <laughs> almost every encounter in the game could be imbalanced. But fortunately, most enemies you encounter in the Chalice dungeons are new to spare British people your wrath, so you instead fight scp 96 but why are we <laughs> You can't fight that thing. That thing can, that can, can, can kill you. Here, it turns out that the entire city of London was built on a Celtic burial ground, an ancient civilization Vindigo. called the Sumerians, who discovered the healing powers of blood and then mysteriously disappeared. Wow, I wonder what happened. This is is all cool in theory, but the reality is that most of the time you fight the same four enemies, and the first three dungeons can be replaced by Simon Says. My cat literally wouldn't notice. The Chalice dungeons are so forgotten that the developers use them to put joke enemies into the game. My favorite is the man who aggressively rolls at you, stark naked, wearing only his Nikes. The uniqueness also extends to the bosses, and what they're the actually fuck? pretty cool, like two Marian descendant, Watchdog, and the three overweight men. Do you remember that basic enemy from like two levels? He is the boss now. Rom, he is is the boss again. The only thing stopping me from throwing myself into a wood chipper is the fact that Miklash isn't back. And if you're going oh. to have replays, you probably want to make sure that they're actually good. In fact, the bosses are so fucking imbalanced that the watchdog fight is primarily comprised of instant kill attacks. I beat Sekiro backwards on a keyboard and this shit is too fucking much. <laughs> now normally- What the fuck is that? Comprised of instant kill attacks. I beat- But- Is that a real thing? What is that? Oh, oh my god, is that, is that, is that, is that from Yakuza, someone defected on that, or oh, please tell me it is. Backwards on a why is the eyes out? Much. <laughs> oh my god, why is the eyes out? Now normally that would be all, but the dungeons go deeper. What we have discussed so far is merely the surface, and there is a much darker syndicate lying just below. These places icebergs. you I love iceberg videos so much, Adventure, man. They're they so are cool the and mysterious. Dungeons, whereby through wizardry, the community are able to conjure up deep, dark chasms and share them with the rest of the world. Of these secrets, there are only two that I shall reveal to you, and the first is the cub dungeon. Yes, you heard that correctly and clearly. The Cum Dungeon is the name of the most optimal farming route ever conceived by the fucking cricket people who do this shit. Whereby, the player enters the chasm of place name and watches as a high-level boss yeets itself off a cliff. Murgo's pig fisting route can give you 10,000 echoes. This gives 83,000. And if you thought that that sorcery was bad, it gets much worse. You can insert anything from the game files by save editing a palace dungeon. Anything. This includes cut and un unfinished content from the oh game my that developers God. to delete. Like this doggo who attacks you with invisible lightning. Overall, the Chalice Dungeons are bad. They're not actually very fun to play, and yet I love them. Everyone loves them because they allow us to further explore a long dead game with the help of a passionate community. Now before nice. we sign off, I know what you're thinking. Maxor, what about the multiplayer? That I would love to talk about with all the footage I have, but it's dead. <laughs> if this game Okay. Releases on PC and it better. Then I will talk about the multiplayer extensively. And finally, this game and this video would not be complete if I didn't talk about the Hunter's Dream. After all the combat, the battles, and the difficulty of this game, it's nice to have a place to recharge, purchase items, upgrade weapons, and watch as it violently burns to the ground. This is where you'll find German slowly wasting away as his soul remains captive for an eternity, and his doll waifu German slowly wasting away as his soul remains captive. I will insult fate. 
for an eternity <laughs> and Fuck his doll waifu that he sold his existence to be with she talks to you levels you up offers you advice and german <laughs> says you're allowed to have sex with her when i fell down and felt defeated she was there to pick me up when i emoted at her randomly she pretended She's so fucking creepy looking though. Like I say, Jesus Christ, she's made of plastic for fuck's sake. Ended to be impressed, and she was there, graciously standing in the background of this one shot that I took of myself. She is our waifu now. Oh, and the game is perfect and complete because she is in it. Now excuse me as I engage in the supplementary lore material. All right, that's the, the okay, okay. Should you get the game? Yes, absolutely. I am biased. In fact, you should physically enter Sony's headquarters and demand that it be ported to PC. I will be right there please with do, you. Please Tasers do, will not please stop do, me. please do, please like do. Thank yes, the yes, hackers yes, and politicians yes, yes, funneling yes. money into this channel directly from the taxpayer. If you would like to contribute your funds accrued through extensive federal government corruption, you can head to my Patreon <laughs> to learn more. I would also okay. like to thank the kind denizens of the Mythbuster Smut Discord who sent me half the memes in this video and as always thank you for watching brilliant that was so good holy shit i hope i really i really uh, hope that it comes to pc because i would love i would love this game I, I would love to play this game after playing dark souls and um some monster hunter it wasn't like it wasn't really the same feels as dark souls I really want this to come to because I heard about it before and I never had the chance to get my hands on the PS3. Hopefully uh, they bring it back. They bring it back to us. Thank hopefully. But yeah guys, that's for goodbye.